Christ is Risen was an open invitation hosted by Arrows DIY. She can do it all, such as high-end dupes, baking, all kinds of crafting, and farmhouse decor. But most of all, she wants to highlight Jesus who came to die for our sins so that we can be saved. Be sure to follow all of the other wonderful DIYers and a chance to win something that they have made that represents our Lord and Savior. So keep watching. I will begin with my first DIY. Well, salvation is a free gift to you. However, you have to qualify for a gift for this collaboration. To qualify, you must watch and comment on any video for a chance to win the DIY offered in that video. Multiple entries are allowed and you must live in the continental U.S. and the gift giveaway closes on March 27, 2022 and our winner will be announced on our community tab. My first DIY is going to be from the famous song The Old Rugged Cross. The song was written in 1912 by George Bernard. The first verse was written in Albion, Michigan, and the remaining verses completed in Pokagon, Michigan. The supplies needed for this project include one glass vase, printed sheet music of the old rugged cross, scissors or exacto knife, jute, a flameless candle, and brown distress ink. So you need to gather all of your supplies and cut the music to fit inside the vase. You want to turn the paper to the side and cut out a cross in the middle using a template. Trace around the cross, cut and remove to expose a clear picture of the light that will be inside the vase. Take brown distress ink and brush the edges of the cross and the edges of the paper. Now fold the paper in a circle and glue. Insert in the jar and the candle and put the candle in and see how the cross is illuminated. Tie some jute at the top and a bow. And remember, Jesus is the light of the world. Then you want to fold the paper in a circle and glue. You insert it in the jar along with the candle and see how the cross is illuminated. You want to tie some jute around the top in a bow and this is to help you to remember that Jesus is the light of the world. The supplies needed for the next project include one bamboo board, three nails, two wood pieces, a black sharpie, a number stencil, a letter stencil, some jute, stickers, and a palette from Dollar Tree, white acrylic paint, and some chalk couture paint in black. So the first thing that you want to do is make sure that your bamboo board is clean and smooth. And you want to also determine the spacing and the size of letters and numbers. I used a Dollar Tree stencil and added chalk couture to fill in my numbers and then my words. And it took me a little time to do that because of the stencil that I had. It would be better to use the chalk couture stencil and I will get that at some point in time. I drew a line under the cross and the nails and then added the forgiven. I glued three nails at the top, wrapped some jute on the side, and made a wooden cross out of some wood pieces from Dollar Tree and there was some pieces kind of like a toothpick and so I took those and made a cross out of it. Then I took apart a Dollar Tree palette 
and adjusted the wood so I could fit the sign to hold it upright. Stickers were added on both sides. And it was completed. And I am reminded of what happened that day when Jesus died for our sins because he loved us so much. The last DIY is the cross. The supplies needed are one wooden cross, white acrylic paint, wooded letters, brown distress ink, one full flower, and a stem of a rose bush with some thorns. I got this from outside. And jute for hanging. So you remove the jute, which is the hanger for the cross, and then you paint the cross with white acrylic paint. You brush around the edges with brown distress ink And then you add the letters, He is risen. So the He is is horizontal and the risen is vertical. And I decided not to paint them, just leave them natural to kind of give it the kind of a rugged look. Then I added a crown of thorns at the top of the cross along with a purple flower. You put your jute on for hanging and it is finished. We know that Jesus rose on the third day and he is alive and waiting to return together those who have done his will and every eye shall see him. Thank you for watching and if you have liked what you've seen, please subscribe, like, save and comment if you so choose. My gift to some blessed person is the one cross, three nails and forgiven sign. And remember, kindness is a choice. So choose wisely. See you next time. Bye-bye.